Hey friends, it's time for another Try It Tuesday. You ready? Okay, so here's what we're going to do this week. We're going to play with something called Diamond Glaze. Have you ever heard of it? Well, I'm sure a lot of you have, but in case you haven't, this is a dimensional adhesive. So it kind of is like a glue. It is liquidy. It goes on kind of like this milky white color. And as it dries, which takes like an hour, um, then it becomes clear. So what you can do is you can, like if you have a flat sticker or, some, or a design that you cut out of pattern paper or a design that you might have stamped or some clip art off of your computer, something like that, and it's just flat and you want it to look like it's kind of puffy and dimensional like the cool epoxy stickers that cost $5 from the scrapbook store, well, you can kind of make them yourself, okay? So I've actually done this idea before, but this week I have to write a, an essay on Brazil and the factors that promoted and inhibited progress in 1920. So um, I'm kind of busy and I need a quick fix. So that's why we're doing a Try It Tuesday that I've actually already tried before. Okay, so anyway then, the technique does come out of this month's Ju um, the July 2008 Scrapbooks Etc. magazine. Jamie Waters does a cute little layout in here with it um, in this section that they call Amazing Tech, um, no, Amazing Adhesive Tricks. That's right, it's amazing, it's adhesive, and it's a trick all at the same time. Ooh. So, this is Jamie Waters' layout. And she took um, just these flat little images and spruced them up with some epoxy. See, she, I think it's like a little, little crab. Love me some crabs. Okay, so that's what we're going to try. So, um, we'll get started in by, what are we going to do first? Um, okay, first let me talk about my, um, my supplies that I'm using. Um, I'm going to use the Scenic Route, what's it called, Liberty Line. It's their 4th of July patriotic type paper that just came out recently. Um, so here's this cute little paper with the stars all over it. I love Scenic Route. Is it not one of your absolute most favoritest lines ever? I know, I do. So the back of this paper is this gold, this orangey gold color. And at first I thought, okay, I'm going to cut out the stars. stars. Once I started cutting out the stars, I realized that they're so cute um, to do them in the orangey gold instead of the red, white, and blue. And plus I think it'll add some pop and contrast to my layout. So I cut out a star, and then I, and since it's just the flimsy pattern paper, I backed it on some plain chipboard. I just have some sturdy weight chipboard that came in one of my paper packs. Um, so I went ahead and did that. I cut out the star and I mounted it on the chipboard. Can you see? Is it too blurry? La 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 la. And then I also went ahead and added some little black stripes, some pin work to it, just to um, make it look like the red, white, and blue stars on the other side. Okay, so now I have my pattern paper. I went ahead and mounted it to chipboard just for kicks and giggles. You don't have to do that. That's where the diamond glaze comes in next. Um, this is a nice brand new bottle of the diamond glaze by Judykins. That's the name of the company that makes this. Stampin' Up sells it. Um, you might can find it at Michael's or at your local scrapbook store. Um, there's different names for it. Some, um, um, but just something like dimensional adhesive is what you're going to look for. Okay. Um, here's my bottle, however. Yeah, see, um, I am a horrible, bad taker carer of tools, and so I popped the top off of mine, and now it's just this big gaping hole, and so I stuff that in there to try to keep it from drying out. So this is what I get to use. Normally, you would take your diamond glaze, and you would just squeeze the diamond glaze on your little cutout and fill it all in. However, when you're a bad taker carer of tools, you just have to work with what you got. So I glop mine on and use my finger. It's just the way I roll. Okay. There. Kind of dry, drag it over to a little drying spot. Now I would do a couple of them, maybe three, um, for all my layout, but I won't um, make you watch as I do all of them, okay? So, um... I went ahead and did one that's already dry. 
So, once again, it probably on the camera looks just like what the flat one looked like. But actually, this one is shiny. And you hear that? Ooh, it's hard, too. Pretty cool. So, I'm going to put together a layout and use these as my accents. And we'll show you what we got, okay? So, stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. We're back with the final product. Um, I used, like I said, I used the Liberty line from Scenic Route and um, you used it for my fireworks pages. I actually, I mean, for my fireworks photos from back when we went down to Tybee a couple weeks ago, 4th of July. Um, I did a two-page layout. Lots of photos down there at the bottom. But, um, the point of this is to show you what I did with the epoxy stars. Um, I went ahead and cut out more of the red, white, and blue stars that were in that cute little pattern paper. And then I used the gold epoxy stars that I made just for a little whoppity poppity. See, so there's one there, and there's one there. So I didn't do all of them in epoxy, I just did some of them, just to, um, to give it some pizzazz. So there you have it. Which way did these go? I can't tell on camera. Is it that way? Okay, we're going to go this way. But they could they could really go this way. No, now that I see them on the camera, they definitely go this way. Okay, yeah. Here you go. The final finished product. And another Try It Tuesday is in the books. So have a great day. Go play with some epoxy. And um, if you need to know where to get it, um, email me. And I'll see if I can help. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.